AMOLED active matrix organic light emitting diode, is a display device technology used in smartwatches, mobile devices, laptops, and televisions. OLED describes a specific type of thin film display technology in which organic compounds form the electroluminescent material, and active matrix refers to the technology behind the addressing of pixels. As of 2008, AMOLED technology has been used in mobile phones, media players and digital cameras, and continued to make progress toward low power, low cost and large size for example, 40-inch or 100-centimeter applications. <laughs> Design An AMOLED display consists of an active matrix of OLED pixels generating light luminescence upon electrical activation that have been deposited or integrated onto a thin film transistor TFT array, which functions as a series of switches to control the current flowing to each individual pixel. Typically, this continuous current flow is controlled by at least two TFTs at each pixel, to trigger the luminescence, with one TFT to start and stop the charging of a storage capacitor and the second to provide a voltage source at the level needed to create a constant current to the pixel, thereby eliminating the need for the very high currents required for passive matrix OLED operation. TFT backplane technology is crucial in the fabrication of AMOLED displays. In AMOLEDs, the two primary TFT backplane technologies, polycrystalline silicon poly -C and amorphous silicon a -C, are currently used offering the potential for directly fabricating the active matrix backplanes at low temperatures below 150 degrees Celsius onto flexible plastic substrates for producing flexible AMOLED displays. Future development Manufacturers have developed in cell touch panels, integrating the production of capacitive sensor arrays in the AMOLED module fabrication process. In cell sensor AMOLED fabricators include Ooptronics and Samsung. Samsung has marketed its version of this technology as Super AMOLED. Researchers at DuPont used computational fluid dynamics CFD software to optimize coating processes for a new solution coated AMOLED display technology that is competitive in cost and performance with existing chemical vapor deposition CVD technology. Using custom modeling and analytic approaches, Samsung has developed short and long-range film thickness control and uniformity that is commercially viable at large glass sizes. Topic. Comparison to other technologies AMOLED displays provide higher refresh rates than passive matrix, often reducing the response time to less than a millisecond, and they consume significantly less power. This advantage makes active matrix OLEDs well suited for portable electronics, where power consumption is critical to battery life. The amount of power the display consumes varies significantly depending on the color and brightness shown. As an example, one commercial QVGA OLED display consumes 0.3 watts while showing white text on a black background, but more than 0.7 watts showing black text on a white background, while an LCD may consume only a constant 0.35 watts regardless of what is being shown on screen. Because the black pixels turn completely off, AMOLED also has contrast ratios that are significantly higher than LCD. AMOLED displays may be difficult to view in direct sunlight compared with LCDs because of their reduced maximum brightness. Samsung's Super AMOLED technology addresses this issue by reducing the size of gaps between layers of the screen. Additionally, pentile technology is often used for a higher resolution display while requiring fewer subpixels than needed otherwise, sometimes resulting in a display less sharp and more grainy than a non-pentile display with the same resolution. 
The organic materials used in AMOLED displays are very prone to degradation over a relatively short period of time, resulting in color shifts as one color fades faster than another, image persistence, or burn in. As of 2010, demand for AMOLED screens was high, and, due to supply shortages of the Samsung produced displays, certain models of HTC smartphones were changed to use next generation LCD displays from the Samsung Sony joint venture. SLCD in the future, flagship smartphones sold as of December 2011 used either Super AMOLED or IPS Panel Premium LCD. Super AMOLED displays, such as the one on the Galaxy Nexus and Samsung Galaxy S3 have often been compared to IPS Panel Premium LCDs, found in the iPhone 4S, HTC One X, and Nexus 4. For example, according to Abbey Research the AMOLED display found in the Motorola Moto X draws just 92 mA during bright conditions and 68 mA while dim. On the other hand, compared with the IPS, the yield rate of AMOLED is low, the cost is also higher. <laughs> Marketing terms. Topic: Super AMOLED. Super AMOLED is a marketing term created by device manufacturers for an AMOLED display with an integrated digitizer. The layer that detects touch is integrated into the screen rather than overlaid on top of it. The display technology itself is not improved. According to Samsung, Super AMOLED reflects one-fifth as much sunlight as the first-generation AMOLED. Super AMOLED is part of the Pentile Matrix family, sometimes abbreviated as SAMOLED. For the Samsung Galaxy S3, which reverted to Super AMOLED instead of the pixelation-free conventional RGB Super AMOLED Plus of its predecessor Samsung Galaxy S2, the SIII's larger screen size encourages users to hold the phone further from their face to obscure the Pentile effect. Super AMOLED Advanced Super AMOLED Advanced is a term marketed by Motorola to describe a brighter display than Super AMOLED screens, but also a higher resolution QHD or 960 540 for Super AMOLED Advanced than WVGA or 800 480 for Super AMOLED and 25% more energy efficient. Super AMOLED Advanced features Pentile, which sharpens subpixels in between pixels to make a higher resolution display, but by doing this, some picture quality is lost. This display type is used on the Motorola Droid Razor and HTC One S. Topic: Super AMOLED Plus. Super AMOLED Plus, first introduced with the Samsung Galaxy S2 and Samsung Droid Charge smartphones, is a branding from Samsung where the Pentile RGBG pixel matrix two subpixels used in Super AMOLED displays has been replaced with a traditional RGB RGB three subpixels arrangement typically used in LCDs. This variant of AMOLED is brighter and therefore more energy efficient than Super AMOLED displays and produces a sharper, less grainy image because of the increased number of subpixels. In comparison to AMOLED and Super AMOLED displays, they are even more energy efficient and brighter. However, Samsung cited screen life and costs by not using Plus on the Galaxy SII's successor, the Samsung Galaxy S3. Topic HD Super AMOLED 
HD Super AMOLED is a branding from Samsung for an HD resolution above 720 Super AMOLED display. The first device to use it was the Samsung Galaxy Note. The Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy S3 both implement the HD Super AMOLED with a pentile RGBG matrix two subpixels, pixel, while the Galaxy Note 2 uses an RBG matrix three subpixels, pixel, but not in the standard three-stripe arrangement. <laughs> HD Super AMOLED Plus A variant of the Samsung Galaxy S3 using Tizen OS 1 was benchmarked using a non-pentile HD Super AMOLED Plus screen in 2012. <laughs> Full HD Super AMOLED As featured on the Samsung Galaxy S4, Samsung Galaxy S5, and Samsung Galaxy Note 3, this display has a 1920x1080 resolution that is better known as 1080p. It has a color gamut of up to 97% of the Adobe RGB color space. Topic: <laughs> Quad HD Super AMOLED Quad HD Super AMOLED technology was first used by Ooptronics in April 2014. After Ooptronics released their phone which used a Quad HD Super AMOLED screen, other companies such as Samsung released phones utilizing the technology such as the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and Samsung Galaxy Note 5 broadband LTE A and Samsung Galaxy S6 and S7. Topic. Future Future displays exhibited from 2011 to 2013 by Samsung have shown flexible, 3D, unbreakable, transparent Super AMOLED Plus displays using very high resolutions and in varying sizes for phones. These unreleased prototypes use a polymer as a substrate removing the need for glass cover, a metal backing, and touch matrix, combining them into one integrated layer. So far, Samsung plans on branding the newer displays as YUM, or YOPT also planned for the future are 3D stereoscopic displays that use eye tracking, via stereoscopic front-facing cameras, to provide full-resolution 3D visuals. Topic. Comparison Below is a mapping table of marketing terms versus resolutions and sub-pixel types. Note how the pixel density relates to choices of sub-pixel type. 